why are we doing this? That is, my wife and I, why do we do what we do? Specifically on this YouTube channel, but other things you don't see. Why would we ever talk about God to anyone? Why would we ever do Bible studies in the context of what I say, anyway? And I think my wife is pretty much in agreement with it, is that very, very few people believe what we believe, and very, very, very few people are likely ever to agree with what we believe. I mean, literally. I've said that many times. So you might have had the question, all two of you, well, why even talk about it, Mark? What's the point? And that's where it goes to the relational part of our existence. I mean, our as, as, as human beings. I believe we are designed to be in relationship with the Creator. And there's certain things that you can be compelled to do in relation to Him, by Him. And all I can tell you is, I am compelled to do the things I do. I think a lot of people have been compelled to do things by the Creator, and sometimes they didn't even know they are compelled to do those things. And I don't claim to be privy to all those people and all the things they've done, or even, say, take some famous person in history who did some big historical thing. I think a lot of times it's clearly a response to the Creator, sometimes a negative response. The Creator provides an opportunity for someone to know Him, but they self-destruct, for lack of another term. They, they resist Him and reject Him to their, their own destruction. But as far as why we do what we do, it's something that I am driven to do every day, as you can see. We put up new content every single day, well virtually every single day, sometimes more than once a day. And I truly don't really consider that anyone is watching. I want people to watch. I want people to believe. I want people to see the truth. Or if someone sees some big gaping hole they can drive a truck through, I'd love them to show me the way. Because I don't want to believe if I'm in darkness. I understand that concept. I've talked to many people that, from my point of view, they are in absolute darkness. And they're... Their eyes appear to be wide open, but they have a huge blind spot. If I have a blind spot, please introduce me to this blind spot. I want to know. But in the meantime, I am compelled. And I don't want to say I feel compelled. Again, it could be just a feeling. I can't prove this to you or anyone. But I am confident that it is the spirit of my creator who compels me to do these things. Because it's an energy that... I just could not come up with on my own. Again, I can't prove any of this stuff. You might just say it's ego or something. I don't know how it would be ego. There's, there's not a lot of hoorays going on towards us about anything we do or say. It's just something that either we are loopy or something, or we really do know our Creator. And the closeness we have with Him generates something in us. It generates a desire to speak, to speak out what He shows us. And the more we draw closer to Him, the more we understand Him, and it kind of snowballs. The more we understand Him, the closer we get to Him, the closer we get to Him, the more we understand Him. And I can't help it. It's irresistible for me. That's the answer to that. If you got any questions or ideas, or you want to question us and what we're doing, except our, our motives. I don't appreciate that. If you want to say we're evil or something, go tell your friends about it. Don't waste our time with it. But if you, if you think you see something, hey, for, by all means, share it. If I'm not seeing something, because I certainly went a lot of years without seeing something, and I believe my eyes were open. And that's why we're here where we are now. We're out of religion, because we were blind in religion. But Maybe you know something else. Share it with us. But either way, thanks for watching and listening. And um, God continue to bless us all as we, we seek that beautiful, loving face in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.